Hey guys, for all the details on this salt and pepper unit from Love Me Hair, keep watching. My girls, pull up, I'm outside, waiting by the curb, too upset to drive, we getting on my nerves, we gon' get lit on this ride, I look too damn good to fight, don't expect me to come home tonight. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Stephanie. On my channel, I do so many different things. I have yet to hone down on a specific niche, but for the most part, I do wig reviews. And I'm gonna be talking about this unit that I have on my head, which was sent to me from Love Me Hair. So I am actually just gonna go ahead and just jump right into my unboxing and my install of this salt and pepper unit. And then I'm gonna be back at the end to provide you with all of my pros and cons and how I feel about this unit. So you know what to do, keep watching. All right, guys, when you see that purple and gold box, you know it's something regal in size. So inside the box is this purple and gold bag to store the units, of course, the unit, but I'll show you that in just a moment. Also, this thank you note, wig caps, and this iridescent bag that says Love Me Hair, and inside the bag is a purple card holder that says Love Me, also a purple and gold edge scarf that also says Love Me Hair, and an edge brush. Also in the box is a user guide that shows how to care for the hair and their return policy. So now let's take a look at this unit. So I'm just taking the netting off of the unit and removing the paper inside. So this is Love Me Hair's Glueless Salt and Pepper 4x4 Closure Lace Curly Bob Wig. And as you can see, the hairline is already pre-plucked. The knots do not need to be bleached at all. And look at the curl pattern just straight out of the box. So as far as the construction, two combs in the front, one comb in the back, adjustable straps, as well as an elastic band. And this unit is 12 inches long. The unit came with the part on the right side. However, since this is a closure unit, you can part it on either side or in the middle. And now it's time to install this unit. So here's the unit after I co-washed it and let the unit air dry overnight. So first things first, I need to cut off the lace. So I am gonna cut the lace as close to the hairline as possible, cutting in a zigzag motion to prevent any kind of lines of demarcation. And now that I have that lace cut off, I'm gonna go ahead and place the elastic band around the back of my head, placing that back comb in the back of my hair. I did not install the front combs in the front of my hair. I just let them sit on top of my wig cap. But I am adjusting the unit so the ear tabs fall where my ears are. So already I am filling this salt and pepper unit. So I'm just pulling this wig cap down closer to my hairline so that it's not an obvious line of demarcation where my edges are and where the wig cap is. And now just adjusting the unit on my head to my liking. And now I'm going to start separating some of the curls. So when I air dried this unit, the curls kind of clumped together and made the unit look a little thin. So I'm just separating some of the curls to make the unit look fuller and more fluffy and bouncy. Overall, just giving it some volume. And now just a little bit of my e.l.f. concealer with an angle brush and putting it right there in the parting line so that that part can pop. Let's talk about this part really quickly. So we all know that I am a left side part girl, but this unit came with the part on the right side. And I wanted to show you all what this unit looked like without changing that. However, I wanna remind you all again that this is a four x four closure unit. So you can change that part to a left side part or even a middle part. So now I'm just um, swooping down some of the edges around the hairline. I did not cut any of those down. I am just using some gossipy glue gel and just gelling that down and swooping it back just a little bit, nothing major. And I am doing that on both sides, kind of where my temples are. Salt and pepper hair is not just for women of a certain age anymore. There is a girl that I went to high school with who has some amazing salt and pepper hair. Salt and pepper hair is mature, but also it can be super sexy and fabulous.
And now I'm just tussling the hair just a little bit, trying to make it a little more full and separating some more of those curls. And that is all I have to do to install this unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around so I can show you all angles and look how fluffy and bouncy those curls are. This unit is serving all the sexy cougar vibes with this red lip. Let me know down in the comments, will you be trying this unit? All right guys, so I am back. So let's go ahead and do a recap on the specs of this unit. So again, this unit was sent to me from Love Me Hair. It is their glueless salt and pepper 4x4 closure lace curly bob wig and it is 12 inches long. Price for this unit is $189.90. However, you know I do have you covered with a promo code, which is SNH23. And I'm gonna put that right across the screen so you can see that there. The hairline is pre-plucked. This unit is 150% density. It's 100% virgin hair. And yes, it can be dyed. However, look at this salt and pepper. Why would you even want to dye this unit? Cap size is medium. So let's go ahead and get right into the pros and cons on this unit. So pro number one is the color. This perfect blend of salt and pepper is absolutely gorgeous. I really feel like I look like my mom right now. She had the perfect salt and pepper hair and I'm gonna put a picture of her hair on either side so you can see her absolutely fabulous hair. And this is serving so much and Lane vibes right here. <laughs> so the color is like that perfect blend of black and gray. It's not too light, it's not too dark. It's absolutely perfect. It's like that perfect midpoint. It's very, very pretty. So pro number two for me is the curl pattern. So this curl pattern is simply gorgeous. Let me give you all a close up. And I did co-wash this unit before I did install it on my head. So you saw what the unit looked like just straight out of the box with those manufactured curls. And I did just co-wash this unit and let it air dry overnight. And these are the curls that it came out with. So I'm so glad that I did not ruin the curl pattern. They bounced immediately back. And all I did was just separate the curls just a little bit to give it some fullness because when I did co-wash the unit and let it air dry, it was looking a tad thin, but uh, with just separating the curls just a little bit and tussling them, um, it just made the unit look a little more full. So I absolutely love this. I think it's the perfect amount of hair for this bob unit. So it's 150% density. So it's not a ton of hair on this unit, but it is like that right amount for a bob. Now, if this unit was longer in 150%, I would have some questions there, but since this is a short and sassy bob, it is just right. Now, this unit is so super lightweight, and I think it is because the density is only 150%. I can barely even feel this unit on my head. It is so extremely light, and I love that. No one wants to feel like they're walking around with a ton of hair just piled on their head. It's very, very comfortable. You can wear this all day, all night, and feel absolutely fabulous. Not uncomfortable with a ton of hair just piled on your head. So love that fact about this unit. So this unit is absolutely beginner friendly. I did not have to pluck this unit. I did not have to bleach any knots. Since it is salt and pepper, you do not have to bleach any knots. Those knots are virtually invisible and the hairline is pre-plucked so you do not have to worry about anything there. And again, I told you just to maintain the unit with co-washing. All you have to do is just hang this unit up to dry. Um, air dry overnight and then just separate the curls in the morning. It is literally a throw on and go type of unit. You do not have to do a ton of work, no fuss, no buzz. I love that about this unit. Now this unit is a bob unit. It is 12 inches long. I'm gonna actually turn around so I can show you all angles again because I really love that it's already cut in this kind of angled bob. So again, that's another positive. It's already cut in style for you so you don't even have to do anything to this unit. Now I did say that I co-washed this unit. However, the unit just straight out of the box, those curls that it came with, are fabulous in itself. The top of it was already flat, so you don't have to use a hot comb or anything. So it comes out of the box already styled. You don't even have to do anything. However, I did co-wash it just because I wanted to see if the curls would bounce back, which they did. So let me turn around so I can show you all angles of this absolutely fabulous salt and pepper bob. So here is the back 
as you can see, it comes back to my neckline. So you don't have to worry about a ton of hair all the way down your back. Hot, no, none of that. This is a lightweight, fabulous bob. I can't even say anything else about it. So I do have a negative on this unit. The only negative I will say is that this unit does shed when I was co-washing it. Um, it was a nice amount of hair that came out when I was co-washing this unit. However, now that I have this unit on my head, I am not seeing any shedding whatsoever. Doesn't have any tangling, so that's the only negative that I will say is a, some shedding when I was co-washing this unit. So it may just be that out of the box thing where it has to shed some hair. It may not happen in the future, but just wanted to make you aware of that. Also, let me tell you about the cap size on this unit. So cap size is medium, which is about 22.5 inches um, around. And I will say that this unit is very much so small head friendly. I have a smaller head size and this unit fits my head like a glove. Now I do have the um, elastic band pull pretty tightly as well as the adjustable straps on the tightest setting. So it is fitting my head very, very nicely, which I absolutely love. And the ear tabs fall exactly where I need them to fall, which is always a struggle for me for some reason. I don't know. But um, yes, my ears are exactly where they need to be. They're not, um, the unit is not sitting on top of my ears or anything. So that's another positive right there. So for all of those salt and pepper girls out there, this unit is perfect for you. Again, it is serving my mother. I really feel like I look exactly like my mother in this unit. And Lane, you are up there looking down on me on this video. I can just feel you. So um, that is it for this review. I hope you all enjoy. Thank you, love me here for sending me over this fabulous, salt and pepper unit and I had to jazz it up, give it a little pizzazz, a little sexy with this red lip and low cut shirt. And I just feel like this is how I'm gonna look once I decide to actually grow out my gray hairs. If I was to stop dyeing my hair, my hair would look exactly like this. However, I am not ready to go there yet. I am not ready. So um, again, thank you so much, Love Me Hair, for sending me over this unit make sure to use my promo code. I'm gonna put everything down in the description box for you. So a link to Love Me Hair's website, a link to this unit, and also my promo code. I'll put that down there as well, which is SNH23. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like, leave me some comments down below and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all next time.